named in the case of a missing teenager is taking a plea deal with the federal government pertaining to an unrelated robbery charge. News News Travis Rice reports it's what the suspect did in connection to the Brittany Drexel cold case that caught the attention of authorities. Good evening. Federal prosecutors say Timothy Taylor failed a polygraph test directly related to the Brittany Drexel case, which is affecting his plea deal. We, we've already told the feds. One of the men accused of being connected to the disappearance of a New York teenager stayed silent outside federal court Wednesday. No cameras were allowed in as Timothy Taylor pleaded guilty to being the getaway driver for a 2011 robbery. Mr. Taylor accomplished his goal today, which was to at least get the court to entertain the fact that this is double jeopardy. Taylor's attorney says his client is being asked to plead guilty federally for something he's already been tried for in state court. Prosecutors say Taylor took a polygraph test in the last 30 days related to Drexel's disappearance, and because he failed it, he faces a minimum of 10 years as part of a plea deal. We cannot comment on that. Uh, Taylor's attorney veered away from questions about the polygraph and insists his client is being pressured for info he doesn't have. We were given every opportunity to cooperate, and we took advantage of that. Unfortunately, we couldn't provide the FBI or the Drexel family with anything beneficial to her whereabouts. And unfortunately, we've been kind of punished. Federal prosecutors denied our request to go on camera after the hearing, but did say that they are pursuing Taylor as a person of interest in the disappearance of Brittany Drexel. In Charleston, Travis Rice, News 2.